In 1977, scientists made an astonishing discovery at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Thriving communities of organisms living around superheated hydrothermal vents in complete darkness. These findings led to the identification of extremophiles, organisms that not only survive but thrive in conditions once thought incompatible with life, like extreme heat, cold, acidity, pressure, or radiation. From the super salty, high UV environments of the Atacama Desert to the acidic hot springs of Yellowstone, extremophiles have been found in virtually every harsh environment on our planet. Even three miles beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, in subglacial Lake Vostok, isolated from the surface for millions of years, scientists discovered microorganisms that evolved in complete isolation from the rest of the biosphere. These extremophiles often utilize metabolic pathways completely different from traditional life forms, breaking down chemicals like hydrogen sulfide, methane, or even radioactive compounds to obtain energy. The discovery of extremophiles revolutionized our understanding of life's boundaries, suggesting that environments once considered too hostile, like the subsurface oceans of Europa or Enceladus, might actually harbor extraterrestrial life. When NASA's Cassini spacecraft flew through the water plumes erupting from Saturn's moon Enceladus, it detected organic compounds in molecular hydrogen, potential food sources for microorganisms similar to those found in Earth's deep sea vents. Today, astrobiologists use our knowledge of Earth's extremophiles to design experiments for Mars rovers and future missions, specifically looking for signs of life that might use alternative biochemistries or energy sources. Scientists now speculate about entirely different forms of life that could exist in methane oceans on Titan or ammonia-rich environments on exoplanets. Biochemistries completely unlike our carbon-water-based life, the next generation of space telescopes will search for biosignatures in exoplanet atmospheres, with our expanded definition of habitable, now including worlds that might host extremophile-like organisms that would have been dismissed as lifeless just decades ago.